Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln. I wanted to use this video to introduce one of many orbital elements that there are which can be used to describe an orbit and this one is the argument of Periapis. And before we do that we need to understand things like the ascending node, the Periapis, also orbit inclination as well. So the inclination of an orbit is the tilt of an object with regard, well, with respect to some plane of reference. Now, on the left hand side there, we're looking down from above at a circular orbit, and on the right hand side, we're looking edge on at the orbit. So we're looking at the orbital plane. Now, if the orbit inclination is zero, there's no angle between the orbital plane and the reference plane in which we're referring to. But if there is some angle, so here, our blue line is our reference plane, and our green line is our orbital plane, then there's some angle between the two. Now what that actually means is when you've got a orbit inclination is that the, the body that's on the orbit, on the green orbit we can see here, so again we're still looking edge on on the right hand side, it will pass through the plane of reference twice and the locations where it does that are the orbital nodes. Now as it passes down through the plane of reference that is known as the descending node and it's traveling south through the, that plane of reference basically. And when it goes to the other one, that will be the ascending node, and that's where it passes up through the plane of reference, traveling north. That's the one we're interested in for this video. That's the ascending node, that's the one we want. So where it's traveling up through the plane of reference, traveling north, that is our ascending node. Now, we've, if you've got an elliptical orbit, the previous one I showed a circular one, but if it's a elliptical orbit, then we have these two distances. One is the shortest distance, that separates the two objects, and one is the longest one. Now, the one we're interested in here is the blue one, the Periapis. That's the shortest distance between the two objects. We're not interested in the other one for this particular orbital element at the moment. So, if again, we're looking down on the left-hand side, same as before, but this time around, we've got a, an elliptical orbit. We can then note the, where the ascending node is, and we can note where the periapis is. So the periapis, again, that's the, the distance between the two, ob two objects when it's the shortest. The ascending node is where it passes through that plane of reference, and it's traveling north. So there's, there's going to be two different locations on that orbit where they occur. Now, the argument of periapis is the angle between the body's ascending node and the periapis. So depending on where they occur on the orbit, you'll have some angle. And that's what the argument of Periapis is. So thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas for future videos or any questions, then just leave them in the comments of the video.